There's a big problem with describing things as rotating clockwise, but thankfully there's a solution that just might save your relationship. So let's assume you're moving in with your partner. Congratulations, the two of you are adorable. And you've got this couch. Wow, white, bold choice. Good luck keeping that clean. You take up standard couch moving positions with you at the front and your partner at the back facing each other. In order to get this couch through the door, you need to roll it a certain way. How do you tell your partner which direction you want it to go? Well, you might be tempted to say clockwise or counterclockwise, the standard ways that we use to describe things that are rotating or spinning. Well, congratulations, you just got in the first argument as a couple who lives together. And like most arguments, it's because you have different perspectives that weren't communicated clearly. Because what is clockwise to you is actually counterclockwise to your partner. Just like left or right are flipped when you're facing each other, so is rotation. See, clockwise only works because we always look at clocks from the same perspective from the front. But if you were in like a big clock, like Big Ben, and you were in there doing repairs or something and looked out, you would see that the hands on that clock from your perspective are actually rotating anti-clockwise. It's a British clock, so I'm gonna give you anti-clockwise instead of counterclockwise just this once. You're welcome. But there is a way that we can all agree on which way it's spinning, no matter what our perspective is. And it's something called the right hand rule. What you do is you take your right hand, and it's gotta be your right hand, even if you're a lefty. And what you do is you pretend like you're grabbing something along the axis that it's spinning on. So you wrap your fingers around in the direction that it goes, and you'll find that your thumb is pointing in one direction. And that's how we're gonna define the direction that something goes, is the direction that your thumb is pointing. So back to the couch, if you want it spun clockwise from your perspective, you use the right hand rule and you wrap your fingers around in the direction that you want it spun and you'll find that your thumb points towards your partner. And from your partner's perspective, if they wrap their fingers around in the direction that you want it spun, they will also find that their thumb is pointing at them. You agree on the direction that it's spinning. The right hand rule is super important in math and science and engineering. Um, not only for the way things are spinning, but it also applies to things like electrical current and the magnetic fields that it applies. And honestly, the most fun part of taking an exam in engineering school, and there aren't many, is looking up from your test momentarily and seeing you know, a room full of hundreds of people doing this, trying to figure out a math problem. And yes, by the way, there are plenty of people who have gotten answers wrong on tests and exams because they do the right hand rule with their left hand. Because they're writing with their right, they're sitting there doing this with the left and getting the completely wrong answer. So actually, lefties, uh, you have an advantage here because you can write with your left and do the right hand rule with your free hand. And I'll admit, you're not gonna use the right hand rule when you're moving a couch with your partner, okay? You're gonna default to the tried and true method, which is yelling at each other while you struggle to support the weight. Just being like, no, spin, spin it, it the spin other it, way. No, spin, spin it the other way, spin it the other way. You're gonna mark up the walls, but who cares, it's a rental, okay? Just order yourself a pizza, call it a night, it's been a long day.